And we're going to begin, as we usually do, by getting our three pillars established. And this is a perfect place to start to get our intention. Because when I say to feel the balls of your feet, The intention has to be there, but also the execution. We have to feel the balls of your feet. And that means directing your mind to bring that into focus, that part of your nervous system that feels that part of your body. And that means that you're gonna tone down your conscious awareness of other parts of your body as you do this. It's still happening at a pre-conscious level. And once we establish this, it will happen also at a superconscious level. But first we need to bypass our normal conscious mind's thinky-thinky action and really focus on that feeling to actually feel into the balls of the feet. Feel into the rest of your foot as well. Feel your heels. Press down with your toes and feel them touching the floor as well. Feel the weight spreading throughout the foot, but really focusing on the balls of your feet. And notice that you can maintain your awareness there for longer than a moment. There's a, a certain length of time where you can maintain your awareness at, on the balls of your feet by feeling it. And this is jerk. Sure. You are using your will to say, okay, brain, I know you want to go and roam free and think all kinds of wild and crazy thoughts. But right now, we're going to calm that stuff down and just feel the balls of the feet. Now, unlock the knees. And go back and feel again the balls of your feet. So since you unlock the knees, you want to make sure that you're still feeling them. Reach for the crown of your head. It means you're extending the, 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 the hair whirl, the, the posterior fontanelle, reaching upward with that. And drop the chin. Slightly pull it, withdraw it, pull it in so that you're actually feeling the jade pillow gate opening up. So here again, we're using our intention. And now we're including both. We're using our intention to include both the balls of our feet and the crown of the head, or the, uh, yeah, the crown of the head. And now we're feeling also the jade pillow gates. We're starting to expand awareness, including all these things. And this requires some practice. This requires will in order to make that happen. The beautiful thing about this is there's no time limit on it. You can do it for a little or a lot, whatever you like. Right now, we're just kind of taking a real slow stroll through these things so that we have, we can really isolate that will part, that, that, that intention to sustain. Now relax your lower back, drop your sacrum allowing your pelvis to level out, your lower back to flatten a bit.
We're able to feel the balls of the feet, the crown of the head, the jade pillow gate. Feel these, the coccyx, the tailbone. Feel all those things once because we're now moving into a super conscious state. So we're not limited by the narrow bandwidth of the conscious mind now. We can hold many things in our awareness at the same time without thinking about them. Push away from the earth and then sink down, spiral down to the left, turn to the right, releasing the hip joints, releasing the claw. Feel yourself settling down into the feet. So we're feeling that loosening, softening of the hips. The butt gets very, very relaxed. The legs take over the work, but in a passive way, they're in a supporting way. Reach with your elbows slightly, just enough to open up the shoulder joints. Really relax the shoulders. When reach with your index fingers, feel the energetic coherence. And part of the will in this is also the willingness to suspend your rational mind and trust this alternate form of knowing, this alternate form of awareness. Feel in your hands and notice the energy there. Being able to maintain this posture and stillness and feel the motion in stillness requires intention, it requires sure, your willingness to make it happen, continue, and to relax into that. So what we're doing is we're removing, removing the counter intentions, the other intentions that are saying to do something different, like, I really want to sit down now, or um, can we just move around, or can I move my arms, or whatever. These are other intentions that your body-mind may present to you as alternates to just being able to stand here, in this, stand here quietly in this posture, and feel the energy. So this being able to control your mind and control your body to this degree is a major step in your Kung Fu. Feel the system, the whole body-mind loading up with Qi. You're opening the, the gates in your feet and in the crown of your head to access the yang chi of the heavens, the yin chi of the earth. And you're filling up with nature chi, restoring, replenishing. It's also an opportunity to examine what's, what you're holding tight unnecessarily. And 
get yourself in communication with whatever that is. And say, okay, body, what do you need here? So anytime we're holding something tight, that's an execution of a pre-conscious intention. And it's usually doing, it's something your body mind is, thinks it's doing to protect you. It's an old pattern that, that worked at some point in the past. And whenever things get stressed a little bit, that's where it wants to go. And now step in the left foot. And feel the difference in the energy to the balls of the feet, set, you want to unlock the knees, find your three pillars in this, in this stance. So use your intention and your jur to feel the balls of your feet, release the knees, reach with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin, Open the jade pillow gate. Relax your lower back. Reach with your elbows. Reach with your fingers. Release the quad. Feel each of these things and sustain them. Now we're going to do a little um, little exercise, little movement. This is from uh, the Wudong Mountain Tai Yi Wuxing Chen. We're just going to do a few movements of it, but just for the um, for the opportunity to practice these things. Now feel the ball of your right foot. Set your right knee and spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right claw, you're releasing down, settling into that. Then turn to the right, really allowing all your weight to settle into that right leg. Pick up the left heel and sink a little more. Just you want to release down and step out. Empty step of the left foot. Do the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee. Spiral down to the right. Sink into that. Feel what that feels like. So you're using your intention now to say, I'm going to hold this position here where I'm primarily in my left leg. And feeling the energy and notice that the energy is slightly different than the other energy where you just came from. And your ability to hold that posture and really feel into it. This is again, we're exercising our intention and our will. Now turn, pivot on your right heel, come back to center. Now feel into the wholeness. Now empty out and just let everything go. Feel yourself sinking into it and moving more toward a nothing than a something. Just really release. And in doing this, we're moving towards the Wu Chi, the emptiness without form. And just the ability to occupy that emptiness is its own exercise.
bow forward. Yeah. Carry. Feel the weight of your arms. Feel the weight of the space pressing down in your hands. Bring your hands up to chest height. Arms are rounded. Reach with your elbows, reach with the crown. Feel that state of wholeness, fullness. So we've gone from the emptiness to the fullness. We've gone from the Wuji to now we're in the Taiji. This is, this is the undifferentiated wholeness. Feel the difference in the energy between those two. Sink. As you do that, rotate your forearm so the palm stays forward. Feel yourself expanding outward without moving. Feel like a big balloon pushing out on your arms, pressing outward. At the same time, the arms are containing that balloon. So we've gone from the Tai Chi, the Yin Tai Chi, which is which abides to the young Taiji, which is expansion. It's a sense of a wholeness, but there's, there's a young impulse, an impulse to expand. So like, like the big bang. Now slowly separate into the yin and the yang. Reach with your elbows as you pull. Feel the poles in opposition as you move toward that separation. You're separating the yin and the yang. Feel that intention to separate. You're overriding that intention to unify. This is what generates chi, generates energy. That separation, separating, holding the poles in opposition. And begin to spiral. You're circling with the right hand, circling with the left hand. Your body moves with that. Feel those spirals moving throughout your whole body mind. Reaching outward. Feel the different energy that is created by this motion. I feel the ball of your left foot set the left knee and spiral down to the left. And as you do so, the right hand comes down. Bring your right foot in. You're reaching out with the left hand. It's 
right hand comes up, feel, feel the two hands in opposition there, feel them separate. Step with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot and push the right knee out, set that and spiral down to the left. You're in the right claw and reach with the elbow. Rotate the forearm. Left hand is coming down as you turn. And you're reaching out. And your eyes follow your hand. Right hand is the yang hand. And the left hand is yin in this situation. Feel the energetic connection between the two. Now feel the ball of the pivot on your left heel. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. The left hand is now becoming yang. The right hand is yin. And you're reaching with the left hand. Feel the energy of that. Notice it's different. Using your intention to create this form and your will to sustain it. Pivot on your right heel. Right ball, set the right knee. Sink into the right claw, reach with the right elbow and right hand comes up. Left hand reaches down. Right hand is now young. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right and step in with the left foot. Find your center equilibrium. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Step with the left foot. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. Reach with the left wrist. Turn. Left hand is yang, right hand is yin. Sinking into that left claw. Feel the ball or pivot on your right heel. Right ball, set the right knee. Barrel down to the left, reach with the right elbow. And turn. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, reach with the left elbow. Feel that left elbow. Feel the right elbow. Feel them reaching in different directions. Sink and reach with the wrist. And bring your arms down and step in. Mm -hmm. 
and pause and feel the energy now. The energy of doing nothing but just standing there. Take a deep breath. And as you press down, disappear the energy, dissolve into the emptiness. Returning back to the Wuji. Mm -hmm. 